We are officially 4 months away from the 2020-2021 bar exam. Ang tinaguri ang hashtag best bar ever. At marami pa rin sa atin na nasa law school pa lang ang curious na curious na kung anong itsura ng software na gagamitin sa bar exam. At maaaring ipagamit sa atin kung tayo ay kukuha ng bar exam. Exam soft is important not only for those who will be taking the bar, but for the rest of us in law school. If it's good enough for the Supreme Court, it's going to be good enough for all of us in law school. If the Supreme Court adopts the reforms introduced by Justice Lunen, then it's only going to be a matter of time until law schools fall in line and require exam soft as part of our testing and test-taking development in law schools in the Philippines. In tonight's episode, I'll be sharing with you how to use Examplify, the official application for the best bar ever 2021. I'll be showing you how to install exam softs Exemplify how to use it and some tips and tricks for when you take your exams. All of this and more coming right up! Hi, my name is Lex and welcome to Lex in Motion. In this channel, I'll be helping you build your competence, confidence, and capability in law school. Start today by hitting the subscribe button below. New episodes are posted every Friday. Examsoft Kapatid is the company that makes Examplify. Ang Examsoft ang developer ng application kapatid at ang product naman nila ay ang Examplify. Now that we have that, out of the way, my first tip, kapatid, is do not panic. Matatakotin ako sa mga bagay na hindi ko naiintindihan at kadalasan nawawala ang takot ko kung ito ay aking nasusubukan o nakikita ko ang ibang taong sumusubok nito. Do not panic, kapatid, kalma ka lang and here's why. After the installation process, kapatid, ang Exemplify ay parang Microsoft Word na lang. Kung marunong kang gumamit ng word ay magagamit mo ang Exemplify. Masyonda na ako kapatid at hindi ko masasabi na ako ay teki. Pero sa patang aking kaalaman para maihatid sa iyo ang bagong episode na ito linggo-linggo. Now let's talk about minimum system requirements. For Windows users, Exemplify requires 1. A CPU processor at least 2.0 GHz Intel i3 processor or equivalent. Hindi pwede ang Qualcomm Snapdragon chipsets. 2. RAM 4 GB or higher. 3. Hard drive, highest recommended for the operating system or 4 gigabytes of available space. Realistically, kakain lang ng mga 300 to 400 MB ang mismong app. Pero kailangan may headroom para sa downloaded and saved exam files. For macOS users, the minimum system requirements for version 2.6.4 or the version that's going to be used for the 2021 bar exam. 1. CPU dapat Intel processor. 2. RAM 4GB or higher. 3. Hard drive 4GB or higher available space. Kung hindi ka pa kukuha ng bar exam this 2021, then you don't have to be concerned about this for now. Most institutions in the Philippines are using version 2.6.4 and the ExamSoft website says the new Apple Silicon processors are not supported in this version. Hassle kapatid lalo na kung MacBook Air ang yung graduation gift or Christmas gift noong nakaraang taon. Version 2.6.4 daw ang gagamitin sa bar exam but that could still change kapatid. As explained by experts, this version is the most stable, most democratic, and probably the most inclusive because it allows installation even for older devices. Sinubukan ko rin naman ito kapatid sa isang ancient na MacBook Air na binili ko ilang presidente na ang nakakaraan. It was my daily driver at the time and most days, siya pa rin ang gamit ko sa light work such as writing the script for tonight's episode. Nakapag-install ako ng Exemplify sa isang lumang laptop and the process was fairly painless. Ang processor nito ay 1.4 GHz dual core Intel i3. O ba ang tanda na? Sakto lang ako sa 4 GB na RAM na kailangan. Pero kung ako ang magbabar ngayong taon ay hindi ko siguro itataya dito sa lumang laptop dahil usad pagong at kinakabahan ako na baka mag-crash. 
I've also been told that if our devices do not meet the minimum requirements, then it's still possible to get Exemplify running. Maaari lang. And let me repeat, maaari lamang tayong magkaproblema sa submission ng ating exam. Let's keep it that way. With that being said, step one in the installation process is to open up Google Chrome or Mozilla Firefox. If you're using Safari, Opera, or Microsoft Edge, then you're not going to be able to download the software. In this case, gagamit tayo ng Chrome. From there, we need to go to the ExamSoft website. Hindi ko alam ang eksaktong URL, so I'm just going to Google it and open up the website. Mula sa website, kapatid, ay pupunta ka lang sa upper right corner, piliin mo ang student slash exam taker. From here, mapupunta ka kapatid sa page na ito kung saan pipili ka ng institution. Ang institution, kapatid, ang magbibigay sa iyo ng access para ma-download ang installer ng Exemplify. Kung wala kang institution, wala ka rin username and password later on. Access is only given through accredited institutions. Maaring sa mga susunod na taon, ito ay maging requirement sa iyong school, kapatid. Ay, mapipili mo na dito kung ano ang iyong school. For those who will be taking the bar exam, ang singil ng mga review center ay nasa 3,000 pesos daw para makapag-MACBAR ka gamit ang Exemplify. Look for your institution and once you find it, click continue. From there, you will be redirected to a page. Ang pipiliin mo dito ay yung ExamSoft User Portal dito sa left side. Click mo lang yan at mapupunta ka na sa login page ng yung institution. Enter your student ID and your password. Then hit enter or click the login button. Sa yung paglagin kapatid ay makikita mo ang page na ito. There are a lot of resources you can check here. Pero narito ako para mapadali ang process ng installation. Kaya diretso na tayo sa download button. From there, you will be asked to download the installer. Ang version 2.6.4 ay nasa 160 MB lang. Kaya saglit lang ang download nito. From there, you will need to open the file. Once it's mounted, you'll need to open the installer. May licensing agreement dito at ito ay prototypical na contract of adhesion. Di naman tayo makakausad kung hindi rin naman tayo mag-a-agree. Continue with the installation process and then for Mac OS users, you will be asked to input your username and password for your computer. Type mo lang kapatid, then it will ask you for system access. Okay lang ang sagot natin dyan kapatid, then Exemplify will automatically open. The first time you open up Exemplify, it will serve up the license agreement. Ako na Masyonda ay nagpanik dito dahil ayaw maklik ng I agree button. What you actually have to do is to scroll down the agreement until the button lights up. Click it when it turns green. From there, it's just a simple matter of finding your institution and then clicking next. Tapos ang yung student ID and password katulad kanina and then sign in. Depending on your institution, you will have a list of exams that you can download and practice on. Hit the download button and wait for your exam to download in your computer. Habang hinihintay natin ang download, sa upper right corner ng yung interface kapatid ay matatagpuan ang isang relo. You can note that the time here is in real life. Kung ikaw ay nasa laptop kapatid, you will also see a battery icon here indicating your battery percentage and or charging status. Since I'm doing this on a desktop, I do not have a battery status in the top corner. Once you have your exam downloaded onto your computer, makikita mo dito kapatid ang mga icons na ito. These icons represent the parameters of your exam. This exam means that it's not secure, meaning I am free to operate my computer. Pwede akong mag-Spotify habang nag -e exam Kapag ang padlock icon naman ay nakasecure, ibig sabihin, walang ibang programs na pwedeng mabuksan. Kung nasa Zoom meeting ka, ay magsasara ang meeting. Sa bar exam, syempre, ito ay secure. The Wi-Fi icon here means that an internet connection is required for the exam. Kakailanganin natin ang internet when we download the questionnaire and when we submit our answers. I'll show you more about that later on in the video. Finally, we have the Navigate icon here. Ang ibig sabihin ng Navigate icon ay maaari kang lumaktaw ng mga tanong at pwedeng-pwede mo ring balikan ang mga tanong. For the bar exam, Justice Leonen has mentioned that we will have the ability to skip questions and come back to them once we're done. 
One tip I can give you when you start Exemplify is to go to the home menu located on the top right corner of the screen and then scroll down to preferences. When you get to preference, you can set the defaults of your app. Here's what I mean. Conventional wisdom kapatid dictates that we have about 12 minutes to answer each question in the bar exam. Again, this would depend on the number of questions, but let's set our default alarm at 12 minutes. Ibig sabihin, when the 12 minutes are up, I am reminded to move on to the next question in the exam. Another setting you can change would be the font you want and the font size. Sabi ng iilan noong Pilot Macbar earlier this year, ay ang required font daw ay Times New Roman at font size 12 or 14. Pero sa mismong app ay ang default ay Arial 12. Medyo kasi lang magpalit ng font kada question. Imagine you'll have to do this for 20 questions. Mas maigi na rin siguro na we spend a few seconds now to change the font type and font size to whatever settings required. Alright kapatid, so far so good. Once we have our exam downloaded, now would be a good time to enter our password. Kung sa in-person exam, sasabihan tayo ng proctors na pwede na magsimula, dito naman sa Exemplify ay magsisimula tayo once the proctor sends out the password. Let's type in our passwords and begin the exam. Once we hit the enter key on our keyboard or click the green enter button, we will be greeted by this page that warns us if we want to start our exam. Sobrang useful nito kapatid kung ang ating exam ay secured. This is your final warning that we won't have access to our computers until we submit the exam. Hit the continue button to begin taking an exam. From there, we will have another pop-up. Isa na namang warning. May mga professors na gusto ay sabay-sabay tayo. Kung hindi ka pa naman sinabihang magsimula, you can hit the back button here. Or if you'd like to start, hit the checkbox below and the button will turn green. From there, we can actually start the exam. Pagkatapos ng loading screen ay bubungad sa atin ngayon kapatid ang exam interface ng Examplify. Una nating mapapansin ang mga bilog dito na may numbers. When a number is encircled in blue, this means we are now on question number one. Dito mo makikita ang tanong followed by a text box for your answers. Again kapatid, kalma ka lang. Walang mahirap dito katulad ng aking nabanggit. Kung kaya mong gumamit ng Microsoft Word, ay kakayanin mo ring gamitin ang Exemplify. Next to the question number, you will find a tool that looks like the highlighter function of Microsoft Word. Again, walang mahirap dito kapatid, kalma ka lang. You can select the colors you want to use. We don't have as many choices in terms of color gaya ng sa Word, pero dito we have orange, yellow, green, blue, and red. Ang huling kulay ay puti. We can use this to erase the highlights we have made. My recommendation, kapatid, is to skip the highlighting function of Exemplify. Sa iyong pag-highlight ay malamang gagamit ka lang ng touchpad ng iyong laptop. Hindi ganun kadaling mag-highlight sa touchpad unlike kung meron kang mouse. I'm sure the Supreme Court will allow you to bring a mouse, but for the sake of making an efficient use of your time, huwag ka na lang mag-highlight. Again, this is one of the things that don't actually translate well. From pen and paper exams kung saan napakadaling gumuhit ng words to digital exams. Dahil napalitan na nga ang ating default font type and font sizes kanina, dito sa loob ng exam interface ay nag-reflect na nga ang changes na yan. Once we start typing our answers, then the blue circle of the question becomes a solid color blue. Ibig sabihin kapatid ay nasagutan na natin ng question number one. Habang tayo ay nagsasagot, ay automatic namang nag update ang character count ng ating exam. This is so we know if our answers are already too long. Just as I've repeatedly mentioned, kapatid, kung kaya mo ang Microsoft Word, ay kakayanin mo rin ang Exemplify. All of the usual shortcuts we use will also work here, gaya ng highlighting text, copying, control c sa Windows at Command c naman para sa Mac, at ganun din ang pasting, control v sa Windows at Command v sa Mac. If you are not happy with what you're doing, you can always go back and undo it. Control z sa Windows at Command z naman sa Mac. At kagaya ng Microsoft Word, available pa rin sa atin ng tab button bilang shortcut ng indentation. Hindi mo na po problemahin kapatid kung sapat ang yung margins at kung pantay-pantay ang indentation mo sa bawat bagong paragraph. 
Pwede mo ring baguhin ang indentation ng iyong paragraph using the alignment buttons on the top of our answer sheet. Pwedeng align to center na parang invitation over pwedeng align right, align left, or my recommendation, justify. Pwede mo ring galawin ang iyong indentation tulad sa ating mga emails at sa Microsoft Word. Kung sakaling ikaw ay magpanik at madelit mo lahat ng iyong naisagot dahil sa nabuisit ka na lang sa exam, don't worry kapatid. Exemplify has got you covered. When you're deleting an entire answer, Exemplify will give you a warning that you're about to delete your work. Sa ikadadali ng pagche-check ng examiner sa ating mga exam booklet, I always recommend that we use numbered lists. In Exemplify, this is fairly easy to do, gaya ng sa Word. We use the numbered list icon here and then type away the requisites or whatever you need to enumerate as a list. And finally, and probably for the last time, gaya ng Microsoft Word, we can highlight text and then mark them as bold, underline, or even italicize a particular portion of our answers. Up here for the rest of these buttons, we have the cut, copy, and paste icons in case you don't use a lot of keyboard shortcuts. We also have the page break button if you feel that the rest of your answer should come up as a next page. Finally, we have the special characters here in case you need them. Pero sadly, wala tayong peso symbol. Finally, we have the flag question button here, which causes a small orange flag to pop up next to the question number. This is going to be very, very useful in case you have a question that you have answered, pero hindi ka sigurado. You can always go back to them dahil meron kang tanda, meron kang orange flag. Kung sakaling kailangan mong tumayo para mag-CR, you can reach for the top button here, kapatid, under exam controls, and then you can select hide exam. This will temporarily close the exam para hindi ka kopyahan ng katabi mo at madadamay pa siya sa mali mong sagot. Once you're done with your snack break or bathroom break or both, you can hit the resume exam button and you'll be back exactly where you have left off. Now, I want to take a moment and walk you through the various tools you have at your disposal. Una na dito ang ability na mag-adjust ng font sizes for the questions. This is extremely helpful if you're old like me, but you refuse to acknowledge that your eyes are not as good as they used to be. Dito ka kapatid magpapalit ng font size ng iyong questions. Gaya ng pinangako ni Justice Yunen, we also have a calculator. We can use it to solve for equations on the distribution of the estate under wills and succession. Para makasigurado tayong hindi budol ang calculator dito ay atin siyang testingin. Okay, ang square root naman ng 9 ay 3. Wait for it. Ah, baka dapat mauna yung number na dapat ma square root. Boom! Panis! Ayan, the square root of 9 is 3. We can also switch this calculator into something I'm more familiar with, a scientific calculator from my days in chemistry. Finally, we have the notepad. This is the part of the interface kung saan pwedeng ilagay ang ating mga outline, ang ating mga thought processes. The notes we write on the notepad can also be copied and pasted to our exam sheet. If you hit the checkbox below marked Request Feedback, then the notes will also be submitted to the examiner. At mababasa daw niya ito. This does not seem like a very good idea for us in law school. One more tool I want to share, kapatid, is the alarm button. Pinalitan na natin ito kanina sa 12 minutes to remind us that we have 12 minutes for each exam question. Realistically, we should be aiming for 10 minutes per question, but let's start with this. We can actually create two alarms, kapatid, and when the time runs out, walang sound na tutunog. Hindi ka makakaistorbo ng seatmate mo. All we will have is an orange notification badge on the top of the screen and an orange highlight on the timer itself. Click to dismiss and then you can start another alarm for the next question. Once you reach the last question, magpapalit ang next button dito sa bottom right corner into a finish button. When you're done kapatid, click the finish button. Again, may confirmation na naman kung tapos ka na ba talaga sa exam mo. Isa sa mga pinaka nagustuhan kong features ng Exemplify ay ang mayat mayang mga email notifications. May email sila sa una mong login, sa una mong installation. May email sila kapag nag-download ka na ng exam at kung nakapagpasa ka na ng exam. Another feature I appreciate is the autosave feature. Exemplify saves our work every one minute. Unfortunately, walang option na mag-save tayo manually. In case of a crash, hindi naman din ganun kalayo ang mawawala sa'yo kapatid.
That's it for this walkthrough of Exemplify, kapatid. If you have questions, please leave them in the comments down below and I'll try to answer each and every one of them. Bigyan mo na lang din siguro ako ng konting time para sumagot dahil 8 months na comment ang backlog ko sa ngayon. Thank you so much for watching. Like and share this video for Good Law School Carmine. I will see you next Friday.